Hey there, my amazing truth-seeking family. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Welcome to another episode of Untold Royal Secrets. This is your favorite royal critic back here, and today you won't believe what I've just learned about our favorite Z-lister's latest Hollywood rejection. Grab your tea, because this is absolutely wild. So... You know, I've been following the entertainment industry for years, and let me tell you, what's happening with Meghan Markle right now is exactly what many of us predicted. Let's dive into this delicious drama that's unfolding with Suits LA, shall we? So, now, picture this. Gabriel Macht, our beloved Harvey Specter, is making a triumphant return to the Suits universe in the new LA spinoff. The moment I saw this news, I literally jumped out of my chair. This is huge, my friends. Gabriel, who played the legendary Harvey Specter, is coming back for a special guest arc. And you know what's even better? He's not the only original cast member who might return. But guess who's notably absent from all these exciting announcements? That's right our favorite wannabe royal who couldn't wait to escape Hollywood for her bigger dreams. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Now let me spill some serious tea. According to some very interesting sources, Megan actually tried to get involved with Suits LA, but, and this is the part that had me rolling my eyes so hard, she had conditions. Can you believe she wanted her production company, Archiewell, to get producing credits? The audacity. Universal basically said thanks, but no thanks, and showed her the door. And this reminds me of a pattern we've seen time and time again. Remember when she tried to get Taylor Swift on her Archetypes podcast? Another rejection. When she attempted to reconnect with her former Suits co-stars for her new Lemonada podcast? Crickets. It's like watching a very predictable movie where the main character just doesn't learn their lesson. And speaking of her former co-stars, let's talk about that iconic Golden Globes reunion. When Gina Torres was asked about Megan's absence, her response was pure gold. We don't have her number. I mean, isn't that just telling? These are people she worked with for seven years and suddenly they don't have her number? Makes you wonder about all those claims of close friendships she used to boast about. What's particularly interesting is how the tables have turned. Back when Megan was planning her royal takeover, she couldn't distance herself from suits fast enough. It was all, I'm giving up my career for love and I'm ready for bigger things. Fast forward to today, and suddenly she's supposedly desperate to reconnect with her old colleagues. Funny how things work out, isn't it? And the entertainment industry has a long memory, my friends. When you burn bridges the way she did, don't be surprised when you can't cross them again. The Suits cast seems to be doing just fine without her. The show's Netflix success last year proved that Rachel Zane wasn't the star she thought she was. Let's contrast this with our beloved Princess of Wales, Catherine. Now there's someone who understands loyalty, dedication, and genuine relationships. While Meghan's been busy trying to claw her way back into Hollywood, Catherine's been focused on her family and royal duties, despite her current health challenges. That's real grace under pressure, folks. You know what's really telling? The way the Suits cast has maintained their dignity throughout all this. They haven't gone running to the press with stories about Meghan. They haven't done tell-all interviews about their truth. They've simply continued with their careers, supporting each other, and now coming together for this exciting new chapter with Suits LA. And can we talk about the timing? While Harry and Meghan's Hollywood dreams seem to be crumbling faster than a sandcastle in a hurricane, the rest of the royal family is showing what true service and dedication look like. William and Catherine continue to put Judy first, King Charles is leading with dignity despite his own health challenges, and Queen Camilla is proving all the naysayers wrong with her steadfast support of the monarchy. The contrast couldn't be clearer. On one side, we have professionals like Gabriel Macht, who maintain their integrity and are now being rewarded with exciting new opportunities. On the other, we have someone who thought she could use a beloved TV show as a stepping stone to bigger things, only to find herself on the outside looking in. Some might say this is karma in action. I prefer to think of it as the natural consequence of choices made. When you treat people as disposable, when you ghost former colleagues who helped build your career, when you try to leverage every relationship for personal gain, eventually it catches up with you. Remember how Megan used to talk about how Suits was just a stepping stone? How she was destined for bigger things? Well, looks like that stepping stone was actually the peak, and it's all been downhill since then. The irony is almost poetic, isn't it? The way this whole situation has played out reminds me of an old saying my grandmother used to share. 
The same people you meet on your way up are the same people you'll meet on your way down. Megan seems to be learning this lesson the hard way. What's particularly fascinating is watching how differently the entertainment industry treats authentic relationships versus opportunistic ones. The warm welcome Gabriel Macht is receiving for his return speaks volumes about how he conducted himself both during and after his time on Suits. Meanwhile, someone who claimed to be an integral part of the Suits family can't even get her calls returned. And let's be honest, this isn't just about Suits LA. This rejection is symbolic of a larger pattern we're seeing in Hollywood. The industry seems to have finally caught on to what royal watchers have known for years. The magic act is losing its sparkle, the smoke and mirrors are clearing, and what's left isn't quite as impressive as the initial marketing suggested. You know what makes this even more interesting? While all this is happening, Harry's sitting in Montecito, probably wondering what happened to those Netflix millions they were promised. From British prince to Hollywood husband whose wife can't even get a call back from her old TV show. Now that's what I call a plot twist. This whole situation reminds me of that moment in The Wizard of Oz when Toto pulls back the curtain. The great and powerful Oz turns out to be just a regular person pulling levers and creating illusions. The parallel here is almost too perfect. The carefully crafted image of Hollywood royalty is crumbling, revealing something far more ordinary beneath. And speaking of ordinary, isn't it interesting how the ordinary working members of the royal family continue to shine? While someone's desperately trying to get back into a TV show that moved on without her, Princess Catherine is focusing on her recovery and her family. While someone's trying to convince Hollywood she's still relevant, Prince William is carrying out his duties with the dignity and grace we've come to expect from him. Let's talk about... The ripple effects of this rejection, it's not just about one TV show, it's about what this represents in the larger entertainment landscape. When you can't even get back on the show that made you famous, what does that say about your current standing in Hollywood? When your former colleagues would rather pretend they don't have your phone number than work with you again, what message does that send to other potential collaborators? The timing of all this couldn't be more interesting. Just as the Sussex brand seems to be facing challenge after challenge, the very show Megan couldn't wait to leave is enjoying a renaissance. The Netflix numbers for the original Suits were astronomical and now there's excitement building for Suits LA. Meanwhile, the Sussex's Netflix output has been, well, let's just say less than spectacular. You know what's particularly delicious about this whole situation? The very industry Megan abandoned the royal family to conquer is now giving her the cold shoulder. Hollywood, for all its faults, can spot authenticity, or the lack thereof, from a mile away. And it seems they've made their judgment. But here's what really gets me. The sheer predictability of it all. Many of us in the royal watching community saw this coming from miles away. The pattern was clear. Use relationships until they're no longer useful, discard them, then try to reconnect when you need something. It worked for a while, didn't it, until it didn't. The contrast with the working royals couldn't be more stark. While someone's desperately trying to maintain relevance through rejected TV appearances and podcast guest spots, the real royals are quietly getting on with their duties. No drama, no demands for producer credits, just service to the crown and country. This latest rejection from Suits LA is just another chapter in what's becoming a rather predictable story. The question is, What's next? When Hollywood closes its doors, when the podcast networks lose interest, when the speaking engagements dry up, what then? But you know what gives me hope? Watching how the real royals handle themselves, seeing Catherine's dignity during her recovery, watching William step up even more, observing King Charles's dedication to duty despite his health challenges, that's what real nobility looks like. Not desperately trying to get back on a TV show that's moved on without you. The lesson here is clear as day. Authenticity matters. Loyalty matters. The relationships you build and maintain matter. You can't just use people as stepping stones and expect them to welcome you back with open arms when you need them again. As we wrap up this wild story, I want to hear from you, my wonderful viewers. What do you think about this latest development? Are you surprised by the Suits LA rejection or did you see it coming? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more royalty spilling sessions like this one. Remember folks, in the end, class and dignity always win out over attention seeking and opportunism.
That's just the way the world works, whether you're in Hollywood or Buckingham Palace. Stay royal, my friends. Until next time, keep watching this space for more updates on all things royal, the good, the bad, and the absolutely cringeworthy. Peace out.